How's it going everyone? My name is Azurus. Welcome back to some more Incredibox. Today we're going to be moving on to Colorbox version 6, which is purple. Honestly, with how the last one sounded, I'm pretty excited for this one. I got the purple shirt on, I got the purple lights on, even though it kind of looks blue on camera, so I'll just roll with it, I guess. All right, so let's take a look at this week's fan art. So we got one coming in from Z Noodle Arts, and let me tell you, this one is crazy. This is the Azarverse. That is kind of hard to say i'm not gonna lie which consists of different versions of me kind of like based off of my thumbnails right yeah you got the masks one you got the one from evacuate this one is part cyborg isn't it yeah that's the one from one of the setbox versions and of course you got the little bread right here this is crazy <laughs> oh yeah and it's based off of the trilly bot one of the trilly box i think it was version three with the uh burger king yeah that one coming in from silly silly already had a very interesting type of art style but then they moved it to 3d that's pretty dope. Of course, you got the glasses and you got the bread on the shirt. Pretty damn cool, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Got an animation coming in from Z Noodle. I mean, come on, look at it. That, that, that's that's amazing. Last one coming in from Z Noodle. Had to finish it off with this one. So this fan art is based off of Junji Ito. Junji Ito's like art style. They realized that I had a Junji Ito style poster in the back of my room. It's actually hanging up over there off camera. An ability to like recreate something like that in a, this type of style is crazy to me. Creepy too. Like this, this style is, this style is pretty damn creepy. So thank you again for sharing your artwork. They're amazing. All right, let's move on to the actual mod here. So because I had a lot of requests to separate the descriptions from the actual like polo sounds and stuff like that, I'm going to be switching back to that. So I'm going to be doing all of the descriptions first, and then I'm going to be moving on to all the polo sounds later. So if you're not interested in the descriptions, you can head to this time. It'll take you straight there. On that note though, let's check out the, uh, let's check out the polos. I can't get enough of this music. This is great. This is awesome. Take a look at the first beat. We got Joy, a 22 gender female, a well-known gamer girl in the Purple City, as well as online. Known for her gaming records and speedruns. Pretty chill in person, but stronger than you think. Moving on to beat two. Looks like somebody trying to dress up as one of the uh, robots. We got Clap, age 27 gender male. After he had dealt with a nearly fatal injury, he was able to have his consciousness, as well as his head, become a part of the robot machine this robot machine can display various kinds of images on the screen but can't speak so it'll usually be just beeps or just some other sound effects moving on to beat three we got arissa age 19 gender female just a citizen of the purple city but dealt with a loss of an eye but was able to have a replacement from qb not much else to say yeah <laughs> all right all right moving on to beat four we got patricia age 28 patricia she is a part robot type of deal with her being a Polaroid desk kind, I've never heard of that. Having a camera on her left eye and one on her hat, though the hat one doesn't work. As you can guess, she's a photographer for the city. Moving on to, boy, what is that? Uh, name is Launch, uh, is a rocket? Okay, age none, gender none. A rocket launcher, a rocket launcher at the game center. Well alive and rather adorable, if I say so myself. Can launch itself about 50 feet high. All right, moving on to the effects. Now we got Steve, age 16, gender male. May look like a human at first, but is really just a robot. Not like the eyes are a giveaway. Main helper at the game center and very good with repairing things. Moving on to, uh, it's arcade machine, okay. Oh, just like a uh, Weckity, right? Age five, gender none. Just a game machine that gains sentience from Steve's control. It gets tiring having to hear that coin sound so much, but at least it's happy to be alive. At first glance, it doesn't really seem sentient, but maybe that'll change when we hear it. Moving on to, he he looks tired. Uh, name is Garrett, age 24, dinner mail. Wanted to go into the virtual world. Chris had tried to help him achieve just that, but failed miserably. Now Garrett just constantly glitches out, usually stuttering when he speaks. Garrett will also sometimes have missing textures. Interesting. Moving on to beat, Effect. Have I been saying beats for these? No, effect four. We get Prout, age 10, gender none. Simply just a protogen, built with the help of QB. Can't communicate with words, so it mostly just sounds or physical actions. What? Pretty chill, but a bit short tempered at times. Moving on to effect five, we get Orchid, age 24, gender female. Usually just seen around with her headphones and listening to some music. Not much of a bother to anyone, really. A rather kind and sweet person. Moving on to Meldy One. Very detailed. Name is Vibe, age 26, gender female. Vibe is just a good feel character who's always in the mood for fun. Usually comes to the game center often and is good friends with pretty much everyone there, like Steve and QB. Moving on to QB. 
Yeah, age 30, dinner nuns, a GameCube. I work here at the Game Center. Almost everyone knows the GameCube here. Sometimes seen playing games, so they're usually easily distracted. But their electrical and programming work makes up for that. Moving on to Aaron, age 25, gender male. Aaron believes that everything, including himself, has intrinsic value rather than high self-esteem. We want to be the center of attention, great right when working with ranged weapons. We got a uh, music box. Age none, gender none, a goober. Really, what the hell's a goober? Enjoys playing a little tune once in a while as they're on a random table at the game center. They always have the urge to smile when a photo of them is taken. Oh, he's not smiling there though. Alright, moving on to Vo, age 42, gender female. Vo had wanted to meet up with me once I got the cure done. Oh, is Vo, uh, the one from Red? Lou and us are very good allies and will always tend to help out with one another. A good gal and just as smart and efficient as me. She also brought some walkie-talkie. He was speaking on the other end. Oh. Alright, voices we got, um, Neek, age 20 non-binary. Neek is a great pal of mine. We happen to get along with each other well. Neek is an extroverted person willing to do any challenge, but can sometimes get a bit too attached with ya. Make sure to give him a pet every once in a while. Moving on to voice two, we got Chris, age 46, gender male. Main one for the purple city, and I'll usually make my own thing for it occasionally like electronics or something else. Been working on a cure for that blue virus, which was done not too long ago. Hope Bo makes a good choice for her first one cured. Moving on to uh, TV. Oh, that, that reminds me of a uh, Mike TV, I think, from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the, the newer one, right? Age eight, gender none. The cool TV that hangs around in the game center. No, really, it's just on the ceiling. Someone gave them the hat too. I wonder who. I did. QB. Yeah, I expected that. Chris, okay. Oh wait, so who's writing these? Chris? Name is Rhea, age 18, gender female. Like Steve, just a robot human. But had gotten a big part of her head torn out. Not too sure what caused that, but it had taken a big toll on her. Vocal cords are somewhat messed up, but it's still manageable to figure out what she's saying. Moving on to the last one. Kinda looks a little cr- Wait, this one is the one from, uh, green? Was it? No, I think it was orange, right? Yeah, I think it was orange. Alright, name is J. That's an interesting picture to age 33 gender male. Found near here running around and laughing manically. I took him to my place and after a while he had calmed down? Question mark? Well, I guess on that note, let's move on to the first beat and see how it sounds. Pretty solid first beat. It's fast paced, it sounded nice, got the beat down. It's like a combination of hi-hats and claps. I like that, okay. Wait, hold on, I forgot to say, I like the general vibe of this. I think it looks nice. Yeah, I actually do like the purple though. The purple vibe going on, it looks like a game system. If you hover over them, they shiver again, but in a retro style. And it looks like we got two extra polos here, so we're gonna have to see what they are. All right, so move it on to beat two. The claps, yeah. Sounded nice. Yeah, usually like the beat is like the is like the first polo. It sounded good though. Moving on to beat three. See, that's what I was talking about. That's like the bass, the beat. That sounds like a beat one, right? It seems like it's gonna be more of a fast-paced type of mod. Let's move on to beat four now. That was like a mixture of like different beats. That was actually kind of nice. I think they were taking pictures, right? Now moving on to the rocket. I can only imagine what this one's going to sound like. I did not expect that. Definitely an interesting rocket sound. But hey, it works, I guess, yeah? Moving on to the... If, why are there so many polos here? Am I tripping? Or is it just aligned and it looks like more? Yeah, I think, it, I think that's what it is. All right, moving on to effect one. Is it just me or is that kind of quiet? I had to turn up my volume, but it was also kind of low. It was a bass though, it was a nice bass. All right, so moving on to effect to the coin. Yeah, so it reminds me of the one from Weckity. It doesn't sound like it though. Sounds like a, what, a coin being dropped and like a level up sound. Yeah, that was kind of nice, I like that. Moving on to uh, effect three. It's kind of hard to like say, yeah, one, two, three. I love that. That one is amazing. I love the glitch effects. I love the sound it makes. Almost has like a bass in there too. It's kind of nice. I figured I would like that polo too. I figured. From his description. Moving on to effect four. That one is loud. 
Okay, that one is loud as well. I mean, very interesting effects. Uh, I'm really curious to see how it's going to sound with everything else. Yeah, it almost sounds like an alarm. I would hate to wake up to that. All right, moving on to the last effect here. I like that. I kind of vibe with that. I need to get the melody down though. That's why I'm curious. That's why I'm excited to see the melodies because then I'd kind of understand what we're working with here. So I guess on that note, let's move on to the melodies. Let's hear it. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That was a good melody. That was a good start. So detailed. Why is it so detailed? Moving on to the GameCube, right? Yeah. That would be hilarious if the sound was the actual GameCube startup. Although, still really nice. I like that. Moving on to melody 3. The whistles. Not bad at all. Hey, the melodies are pretty nice so far. Moving on to melody four. Sorry, that reminded me of something. That sounds like a wind up. What do you call that? A music box, I guess? You wind it up and it makes music. Just like a uh, Void, right? I think Void had one uh, as one of the melodies as a music box. Moving on to melody five. That is weird. That is very interesting. It honestly sounds like a, a melody. It is a melody. It honestly sounds like an effect. That's that's what I meant to say. Yeah, it's really weird hearing everything by itself because you really don't know what you're expecting. So moving on to the voices now. Let's see if we get some lyrics in here. The royal bush of purple and Johnson on great circle. Ooh, it's like an 8-bit, although I don't know what they're saying though. Is that the only lyrics or are we gonna get more? What do you think? Let's move on to mm, voice two. Oh, is that like a kind of choir? Yeah. Like I knew we were gonna get some choirs in here. Yeah. I feel like a lot of choirs are thrown into the uh, to the color box spots. And it sounded really good this time too. So moving on to voice three now. You are purely it's purple. You are purely it's purple. It is purple. That is how you spell it. Now that was actually good. I like that. I feel like that voice sounds familiar. Oh wait, yeah, we did get more lyrics. So moving on to voice four. I kind of wanted more. Almost majestic. Almost. Almost. And last but not least, kind of, because we still have two more. Let's hear the last one. Last voice. Oh. I didn't know we were playing a horror mod. All right, what? That was so weird, okay. It was the second version to Oren Ayo, right? That had that? Yeah, this reminds me of the breakthrough one, because it, is there a jump scare you think? Oh, I don't want to get the jump scare. All right, moving on to the bonus polos. Let's check it out. Where was that from? I've heard that before. Was that a previous color box version or was that like another mod entirely? The polo design doesn't seem familiar, but the sound does. Definitely let me know, because I don't know. <laughs> Alright, moving on to bonus two. Is that Waluigi? Alright, let's move on to the beats now. Let's see if we can get some. I don't even know where to put these at. I guess the melodies?
The beats, the beats hit. The beats were pretty good. Yeah, they were nice. They were fast paced. They weren't anything super crazy though. They weren't. Moving on to the effects now. Those effects, they're actually really nice. I like that. A great set of effects there. Going on to the melodies now, I'm actually kind of excited for these. God, those melodies. Yeah, those melodies are nice. Vibing with that. Okay. Forgot to put these two in there. Definitely a lot more happening. All right, moving on to the voices. Yeah, let's hear it. The Royal Bush of Purple. I feel like there is going to be a jump scare for this thing. I took it away and it still played the sound. Okay. All right. So I guess on that note, it's time for us to make a chill, I think, right? Maybe a little scary, but dope beat.
I thought it was actually pretty nice. It had a bit of like a retro 8-bit kind of feel, especially with some of the uh, polos in there, like the arcade game and like the GameCube. I mean, come on now. I might still have to say that blue was probably my favorite one so far, especially like the melody set that I had for the intro. That was, that was clean. Of course, there was a few of them that I liked the most. I think melody one sounded really good. And there were definitely a few in there that were interesting, especially, uh, especially this one. I don't even know what I was witnessing when I was seeing that. Either way, just like every single mod, I do want to know what you guys think about this mod. We are coming awfully close to version 9. We have, what, three more? But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed because I surely did. Thank you to all the members of the channel. Thank you for the people who have joined the Discord. And thank you for watching. And I guess I will catch you in the next video.